Hello, and welcome back with Righteous Talk, here with Pastor Maurice Martin and Prophet Taisha Martin. We welcome you today with the Daily Bread, and we're speaking on Psalms 101 for the Daily Bread today. Hallelujah. Welcome back. We thank you for joining in, and we pray that this message will be an encouragement for you, and it will also help you with your walk with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pastor, would you like to give a short prayer? And Father, we pray this message. Touch who needs to touch. Deliver who needs to deliver. Give peace to who needs to give her. And correct who needs to correct. In Jesus' name. Amen. And let your Holy Spirit be welcomed in this atmosphere. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, uh, we're going to start out with Psalms 101. Hallelujah. I will behave wisely. I will sing of mercies and judgment unto thee. O Lord, I will sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Keep going. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso proudly uh, slander his neighbor, him I will cut off. Him that have a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Verse My six. eyes mm -hmm. shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He work, he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. Be that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy the wicked one of the land, that I may cut off all the wicked doors from the city of the land. Amen. Amen. So, in other words, come and sing unto the Lord what? A new song. Sing unto the Lord what? All the earth. Amen. You know, we're supposed to sing praises. You know, because what did the Lord say? He'll put a new song in your what? Amen. In your heart. Yes. So, um, and then it's talking about I'll behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Mm -hmm. So what is it talking about when you say you're going to behave yourself wisely in a perfect world? Well, we're supposed to keep God's laws and God's statutes, and we're not supposed to do anything that may offend the Lord. So if we have done anything that has offended the Lord, and we are in the body of Christ, we need to repent quickly and get it right with the Lord. Hallelujah. And repent with a sincere heart. I mean, repentance is... Uh, something that you just don't mumble a couple words because God knows the heart. You have to really be sorrowful of what you have done and repent. Repent quickly. God said what you do, do quickly, beloved, and repent with a sincere heart, not looking back on what you did and uh, believing that Jesus has, has forgiven you for what you have done because God said, if you don't forgive yourself, how can he forgive you? And we have to forgive others if we want to be forgiven. So we need to walk with a pure heart. We need to um, walk in righteousness and um, just oblige by God's laws and statutes. If something is wrong, uh, we need not to be part of it. Uh, bad habits need to be ceased. Um, you know, we just when we're in Christ Jesus, we're renewed in Christ Jesus. So we have to... Uh, stay with what the scriptures are. Yes, it is true. Sometimes we all fall short to give God the glory. But you know what? God picks us up. Why? Because we have the advocate with the Father. And the, advocate, the holy advocate with the Father is the Holy Spirit, that holy blood covenant that we can go to God's throne humbly and asking him to forgive us if we have done wrong in any way. If we have done anything to un to, to um anything to unpleased the Lord, we need to sincerely fall to our knees and fall into repentance. Hallelujah. Sometimes we weep in the spirit. Sometimes we cry. 
Abba Father, forgive us, and Abba Father, for save us from our sins, or Abba Father, save us from our foes and our enemies. Hallelujah, glory to God. For God said, uh, repent for the remission of your sins, because there is no more remaining sacrifices for your sins. Only the Holy Blood Covenant, the blood of Jesus, can save us from our sins, and that we can be forgiven by God for our sins, by the Holy Blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. That was perfectly explained. Um, and when it's talking about, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Your house is your temple. Because the Lord said he's come back for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, or any such thing. Mm -hmm. So we got to be what ready when he comes. We got to be like, you know, the five wise virgin you know, who had the oil with them mm -hmm. when they were ready to go meet the bridegroom. And that's what it's pretty much talking about walking in the perfect way. God wants us to walk in the perfect way. Be like mm -hmm. the five. Be prepared. You know, mm -hmm. have the oil in your lap. Mm -hmm. And the oil is the Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, you know what? Live right. Act right and be right. Amen. And when you do that, you know, when it's talking about not setting anything away from my eyes, you know, we're supposed to be careful what we watch. Amen. You know, we shouldn't Amen. be watching movies and you know, That's flicks right. and That's right. like, you know I, things that are wicked and ungodly. What, what do I, I say? say? What do I say, Pastor? What do I say to my family when you know we think okay? So we go on something that says action or drama. You got to be careful with those too because we clicked on a movie that said what was it? Action? Yeah. Or was it drama? Made one or the other. I think action it was drama. or drama? Well, it was drama, and it actually if I have to sit there and rebuke constantly and rebuke the enemy you know while i'm watching a movie that movie that channel needs to be changed because god does not want our eyes to see those things and god does not want us to have those things in our mind god gives us a spirit of love peace power and a sound mind not a spirit of fear so if you are watching things like that i believe that you should, you should run a check and besides, you don't want that type of stuff in your household. Hallelujah, glory to God. We want to, we, we, we got to constantly bind out the enemy, you know, in Jesus' name and come against those things. So we had recently watched a movie that I wasn't pleased with and my spirit didn't set right with it and I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it and I just constantly rebuked it and rebuked it and rebuked it and I actually repented of watching that movie. That's right, because when it said, it said, <laughs> see, it didn't say it didn't. that you can set some things that are wicked before you. It said, I will set nothing, nothing. wicked That's before right. your eyes. That's right. So, That's right. you know, we as Christians, honestly, we, it's, you know, it's time to, you know, get together. If we don't have it together, Amen. this is the time to get it together because, Amen. you know, Christians really, you know, I hear a lot of times people say, you know, you shouldn't be so high-minded that, you know, spiritually minded to know if you're good. But truth of the matter is, that's that's not true either. Because the Lord wants us to be spiritual always. That's right. Because, you know why I say that? Because the Bible says God's a spirit. And those that worship Him must worship Him in what? The spirit in the spirit and, and truth. The truth. And God seeks such that's worshipers. That's right. So, you know, we got to be careful what we watch. On you know, TV, what we on our computer. To, on the radio. You know, and we got to be even far as careful. You know what we wear as Christians because Amen. you know Amen. what what we wear is you know what we symbolize. You know? Well, Jesus said that we should. God says that we should post up the crucifixion, post mm -hmm. up the crosses, and wear them around our necks. Hallelujah, Amen. Mine's broke a while ago, and I have to yet replace it. And I've been replacing it with temporary ones, but I like the real deal. So I, all my life, you know, since I got baptized and saved i've always wore a crucifixion around my neck it was always real gold you know i'm a real gold type to, uh, lady and i don't want to wear anything that's fake so but what i'm saying is we are supposed to post up you know uh the cross we are supposed to keep the cross around our necks we're supposed to where things pertain into our belief, who we are, who we represent, you know. So, and be careful because there are clothes and, and a clothing line out there that is of the enemy. And you have to be careful what you buy. So, you know, I was just shopping in the store with um, my family uh, a few days ago. And I touched the shirt and I said to my other son I, that, that knows of these things, you know. Um, and I said, ew, what kind of shirt is that? And he said, Mom, leave that alone. That's that 
that's that stuff that you ain't supposed to. And I'm like, oh, I just I repented of touching it. I, I hope I repented of touching it, but I think I probably rebuked it. But um, you even have to watch out with the things that you buy and the things that you watch because there's so much wickedness out there, you know. So we have to be careful, and we have to be careful. We have to be, that's why God say we need to stay prayed up because it is so easy to fall into sin. So we have to constantly, like Apostle Paul said, we have to fight the flesh every day. And God, that's why God gave us power and power over all the enemy we need to flee from the very appearance of evil and if you have fallen short to give god the glory meaning if you messed up somewhere you know you need to sincere you know don't ignore it go to god ask for forgiveness and you need to not go back turn back to that sin again sometimes people struggle with bad habits you know and you need to be delivered you know God is a God of mercy, yes, he is, but he is a just God, and he wants his people to stay pure. He wants his people to stay upright with him, amen? Amen, and then, so, that's, that's perfectly explained, but then we also got to go to another part we read, and it talks about, you know, a person that tells lies. Yeah. You know, God doesn't want us, you know, to tell lies. Flattering tongue, um, because no. Yeah. Lying, what does the Bible say? Lying is an abomination. Yeah. Because you can use this tongue for good That's right. or you can use it for evil. But God right. preferred that you use this tongue for what? Right. Uh, exhortation. That's right. You know, That's right. explanation, exhortation That's right. of That's His Holy right. Word. That's you know, right. the Bible wants us to be truthful in all things, especially, you know, you say you're a born again Christian and you got Jesus in you. What did Jesus say? He's the truth, He's the way, the truth, and the life. So if he's the way truth and he abides in you, guess what? You shouldn't be telling lies. That's right. God That's wants right. to be truthful. That's you know? right. So don't have a lying tongue and, you know, don't, you know, sit around, you know, in abomination and do things that is not pleasing to God. Flee from that. God said flee from the very parents of evil. He will sustain us. He will preserve us. But we have to take the actions, you know. And again, I strongly encourage you that if you have fallen short with God, please go to the Lord with sincere. Now, don't go if you're not sincere because God doesn't like that either. He knows who's sincere. He knows the heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He knows the heart. He knows those who, um, you know, are pure at heart in those who uh fear him you know sometimes i mean we we fear the lord you know there, there are saints that fear the lord and sometimes you know slip up sometimes but god said i will forgive you how many times in a day 70 times seven so 70. so like i told my husband before you know um i don't understand how someone can send that many times in a day but when you're talking about an evil door, I'm sure they're very capable of it. <laughs> but us as Please. saints, thank God we don't do that that many times in a day. I mean, we are as filthy rags compared to our God and our Savior, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Yeshua. But God said, be ye made perfect for his Father in heaven is perfect. And, and that's why God manifests himself in the flesh to come down here and see what we felt like. See, you know... Um, uh, uh, how you know how it felt to 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 be who we are so that's why he gave us the holy advocate the death barrel and the resurrection of christ jesus that holy shed blood so beloved if you have fallen short you know you have the advocate with the father god said i will forgive you for anything on this earth as long as it's one thing that i will not forgive you of and that is blaspheme against the holy spirit so, you know, go to the Father and repent and, you know, just cry out to the Lord and ask God to forgive you. And he said that I will take that sin that you have just committed and toss it into the sea of forgetfulness and remember it no more. Only if you come to him with a pure heart. See, God is God. He knows everything and he knows if you're sincere or not, right? Amen. So we're going to go ahead and hit this last verse. And then close out, mm -hmm. you know, it's important that, you know, if you don't tell lies and, you know, you watch what you, I mean, you, you know, you be careful what you watch, 
You know, and you know, be faithful unto God. Mm -hmm. You know what He'll do for you? He will destroy the wicked, and He'll cut the evil doers off mm -hmm. from the city. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. So if you got evil doers out there, do right, live right, act right, be right, and God will cut the evil doers off. That's so we shouldn't. The truth is, sometimes in our flesh and human flesh. It's hard to see, you know, in our thoughts, man, how's the Lord mm -hmm. going to do this? And, mm -hmm. You know, how's he going to do that? But you know what? Put your trust in him. Believe yes. the word of God. Yes. If God said he's going to cut him off, guess what? He's going to cut him he's off. He's going to cut him off, man. That's right. And it might not be, you know, our style, how he does, mm -hmm. how he does but it'll mm -hmm. happen because mm -hmm. God's word is true. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we went out of Psalms 101. Thank you, Jesus. Um, <laughs> walk up right with the Lord. And I will behave myself wisely. You know, we need the presence of God to be with us always. So, you know, we have to um, behave ourselves wisely. You know, a uh, quick test, quick uh, story. Okay, we were in uh, part and pastor for a minute. He'll be right back. Uh, quick story we were in um, the store, another store where um, a woman just totally got over on us with, you know, a couple dollars. And I was like, are you, are you kidding me? Are you so for real right now? You know what I mean? And, and the flesh wanted to rise up and be like, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stand right here until you get it right. And she actually admitted that it was her fault. And she didn't fix the problem. So... I sit there and I, me and my husband are looking at each other and we're like, you know what? I feel like I want to say something and I feel like I want to stand right here and wait for another manager to come and, I, and she going to give me what's mine. But you know what? Prophet Taisha had to say to my husband and my husband said to me, Pastor Martin said, we both said, you know what? It's just $4. Let's just walk away. So, you know, uh, we have to humble ourselves a lot. And humility, after humility comes honor, you know. So we have to go through some things. And sometimes we have trial and error. And sometimes we're just baby in Christ Jesus. We're babies sometimes in the eyes of Christ Jesus, you know. Sometimes it takes years of conversion, Sometimes, you know, we have to just um, stay with our heads in the Bible and, and, and read a scripture, even if it's just once a day. Read a scripture three times a day. Read a scripture as many times as you need to kill that flesh. Because as the Apostle Paul said, he, he got, you got to die to the flesh daily. You got to beat the flesh daily and keep it under the holy blood covenant of Jesus. But to make a long story short, like I said, you know, that's why we had the advocate with the father so that, you know, and he gave us that advocate with the father because he knew that we would fall short to give him the glory sometimes. So when the enemy, you know, says to God, look at what she just did or look at what he just did. And God says, you see that holy blood stain right there that is in my heaven. It is also with them. It is with her too. And she's covered. She repented. Or he repented. And I forgave her for that. And she repented. Or he repented. Or they repented. Uh, pure heartedly. And I have forgiven them for that. And I tossed that sin right into the Red Sea. Why? Because they had the Holy Blood coming. They had the advocate with the Father. Hallelujah. Who arts in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So... Uh, be not discouraged. Keep your head up. There's no ditch too deep that God can't get pulled down, reach down, and get you out of. Remember that, beloved. He loves you. And especially when you're in the body of Christ and you have some struggles, give your burdens and your struggles to God. He said He is willing to take them. You know, we have to give our burdens to God because sometimes, you know, it's just too heavy for us. And God doesn't want us to carry a heavy load. God wants us to have 
a, a, a loving spirit, a, a peaceful spirit. Because why? We know all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called for his purpose and glory. So we may slip sometimes, but God is right there to pick us up. So Psalms 101 I will behave myself wisely, and I believe that we all need to practice behaving ourselves wisely. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We love the Lord. Hallelujah. And we're sure that you, and we hope that you love the Lord too. But sometimes human nature and things of this world may have you to act unwisely. So remember, beloved. Stay strong and stay encouraged in the Lord. Stay prayed up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we, we when we pray, we pray our Father. We seek the we seek God's um, righteousness. So as the, as the prayer is, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from all sin and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. So just by praying, we still have to, after we've prayed, we seek God. Now we have to seek God all of his righteousness all the day long all the night long hallelujah amen so beloved stay encouraged and if you have displeased the father in any way fall to your face fall to god's holy arms and say lord just please forgive me you know and help me not to do that again and god will surely as long as your heart is pure what will he do Pastor? You'll take your sins and throw them into the sea of forgiveness to be remembered no more. Amen. So we thank you for joining in today with Righteous Talk Ministry. And we pray that this has been an encouragement word for you, straight from God's holy word. Psalms 101, I will behave myself wisely. Stay tuned for more messages and daily messages and episodes with Righteous Talk with Pastor Maurice Martin and Prophet Taisha Martin. Until then, beloved, Godspeed and Shalom unto you.